everybody. This is Constance on Main Street. How you doing? It's a beautiful day here in downtown Pikeville, Tennessee. Now, for those of you that have or have not or maybe not noticed the new marquee that we have on Main Street, it tells you about various activities, upcoming activities, things like that, uh, updates, school, whatever. Uh, you check it out. All right. The Dunlap Yard. If you've been to Dunlap, you should be familiar with the Dunlap Yard. They have live music. They're getting back into the schedule of live music. They do serve <clears throat> some interesting things there. It is on Cherry Street, September 1st through the 2nd. They will be open and going back to live music. It's an open-air venue there, like we're sitting here at Ember's Ice Cream in the open air, enjoying the scenery and everything. So, Oktoberfest. It's been a lot of talk about that. Um, Dunlap is having something at Harris Park. They're going to have live music, food, beer, and more. This is October 6th and 7th. Um, free entry for everyone. More details. Check it out. Uh, Chamber of Commerce will be more than glad to give you some additional information on that particular activity. My ride in Tennessee Sequatchie Transportation. Uh, this is a new service that started in Dunlap. Uh, it's dedicated to help older adults in Sequatchie County. That's those County has one also. It's called Sethra. Uh, I've used it quite a few times. So, yes, it is for older people. Uh, but if you do not have transportation to get to a doctor's appointment, or something like that, you call, make a reservation, and they schedule you into the group of the crowd that they're picking up. So that's new for uh, transportation in Sequatchie. Okay, Unwound in Bank Walker's Breezeway. Um, they're September the 9th. Uh, they're going to be there, live music. I don't know. They serve something different all the time. I don't know if they um, do any specialty items, but quite a few people do eat there. Okay. So check that out, especially if you're interested in the live music. Now, Friday, September the 1st, 3 p.m., and we're talking Central Time, the 10th annual Bledsoe Bash will take place at the Lucky Star event venue. It is located out on Upper East Valley Road. Uh, they've been closed a bit uh, due to family health challenges, whatnot, that sort of thing. But this year, they're having the 10th Annual Bledsoe Bash. Now, they have a lot of things there. Um, you can use tents, rent a cabin. So they've got a lot of opportunities. But you need to make your reservations early, okay? That's very, very important. Also, the annual bash, um, they take donations. People drop off toys, items, things like that. This is for the Bledsoe County uh, children for their Christmas gifts. This is part of building that up so they have enough items to pass out to the children here that have a need. Now, they also have a nice... You can call it a pond or a lake, but you will be able to fish out there. Now, this is throwing it back in, okay? This is not you taking it home. So, catch and release. So, they have a quite a number of things that you can do while you're there, as well as listening to the live music. They will have a couple of food vendors on site, and they usually, <clears throat> it's out of sight. Okay, so Friday, September the 1st, Starting about 3 p.m. Central Time, the 10th annual Bledsoe Bash at the Lucky Star event, event venue. Saturday, October the 7th at 9 a.m., Pikeville Bledsoe County Fall Festival. Hey, if you've not heard about it up until this point, you may be missing up. Uh, I've talked to some of the vendors that are going to be setting up. Last year, we had a lot of, wow, especially the woodworkers. 
uh, and things like that. They actually made items on site. Uh, that was just absolutely fabulous. So it is fall festival just about everywhere. So check out Pikeville, okay? Um, October the 7th also uh, at 11 a.m., uh, they're gonna have a cruise into Pikeville Fall Festival. Now, it's gonna be a little different than usual before. So you need to check with the uh, Chamber of Commerce, maybe the city mayor's office, Main Street Stage Group, find out where you sign in, check in, all of that, get that information if you so choose to participate. Nothing like checking out the cars. So, okay, moving on, October the 14th, 9 a.m., and this is Central Time, there is going to be a Miss Pikeville pumpkin. Don't have a lot of details on it right now, so you need to check the paper, maybe check them out at the fairgrounds, see what's going on out there. They still have some activities going on. And downtown on Pikeville Main Street, we've got the little marquee there with when activities, date, time, that sort of thing. Check it out, especially if you've not seen it already. <clears throat> okay, September the 9th, 9.30 a.m., Fall Creek Falls Obstacle Challenge. This is an equestrian event, Fall Creek Falls Equestrian. They do a lot of different things during, throughout the year. They have hikes, uh, climbing, um, uh, checking out the flowers, the trees, things like that, just nature walks, whatnot. They're always doing something different on a regular basis. They don't repeat and repeat and repeat, okay? So if you're into the equestrians, this one should be interesting also. So if not, it's just fun walking through the park, checking out uh, the scenery, the activities, all the things that are going on. And um, check out, we still have gorgeous weather here so we can check out things, okay? So get busy, get out while the weather is great, and we'll check with you later. Hey everybody, more information on Main Street happenings, check here, Main Street with Constance. Brought to you by Bledsoe Telephone Cooperative in the Sequatchie Valley.